All these people here. Indian, okay, all, okay, all, all these people. Yahweh. So, so, all these people. Yahweh's not the name. Yahweh is the name of God. I got Yahweh. 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 Y
anybody out there that got a problem and you believe that the name of the Lord is Yahweh, look this information up. It says the evolution of wrong names. Listen to this. The evolution of wrong names coined by humans, Yahweh, Jehovah, etc. These names here, this name here, Yahweh, Jehovah, uh, Yahu, Yahu, Yahuwah, all that. Those are all wrong name pronunciations of the name of the Lord. Those ain't correct. Let's read it. And it says, and it says, and it says the original, it says the original in Hebrew being read from right to left standard. It says transliterate to YHWH because he was saying that too. It says YHWH. Yeah, YHWH, but that's not the pronunciation of the Lord though. It's, if it, if it's, uh, what's he called it? It's, if it's, uh, if it's initials is YHWH, I don't mean it's Yahweh. It says YHWH in English format reading left to right. The original English standard translation for the name of the Most High was not changed during the time of Yahweh Mashiach. It says Yahweh, the new name of God was coined and evolved during the 6th century towards the end of the Babylonian captivity or around 600 years after the death and resurrection of the Messiah. This is when this name you see that? Yahweh. That's not the name of the Lord. There's no E in the Hebrew. It says Jehovah. Another new name of God coined by humans evolved during the 16th century or a thousand years after humans created the word Yahweh. Violations. They changed all the HWH to Yahweh and Jehovah. You see that? So that's this is not the name of the Lord for you people out there. And what I was trying to tell him was, what is the Hebrew grammar for the name of Yahweh? And he couldn't give it to me. He kept on just rambling over me, rambling over me. He kept on rambling over me. So let's get the true meaning and pronunciation of the name of the Lord out there. This is the, whether you believe it or not, whether you believe it or not, I don't care you Yahweh believers, whether you believe it or not, Yahweh is not the name of the Lord. Yahweh is the true name of the Lord. It says Yahweh. Yah, up there, Yahweh, he exists, Yah, Yahweh, he exists, Yahweh, Yah means he, Hawa means exists, he is, and that's what I was trying to tell him, give me the Hebrew grammar for Yahweh, and he couldn't give it to me, because he just kept fucking talking, he just kept fucking talking, it says, Y-H-W-H, because he said in the video, Y-H-W-H is pronunciation, of course you can go on Google and put in Yahweh, it's going to tell you that bullshit that that's his name, but Yahweh is not the name of the Lord, it's not. Cause you got to get the Hebrew grammar for the Hebrew word, the meaning of the name of the Lord. You have to get his. You have to get the Hebrew grammar for it. And I can show you. I'm showing you right now. Y H W H Strong's H thirty sixty eight. So it's H thirty fifty, which is Yah, which means He, which you see up there. When you go into the etymology, it's Y is H thirty sixty eight, which is Yahweh, which means He exists. He is. Right. It says it says vertically, vertically, all translation from Judaism and Christianity use use the Lord. Right. Because anytime you see Lord in caps in the Bible, that's talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. It says for the Hebrew name of the Most High, Y.H.W.H., which is Yahweh. That's what that's saying. Yahweh there. The original. See that the original pronunciation of the name can never be determined with complete accuracy, but in Hebrewic thought, it is the meaning of the name that is more important than its pronunciation. So it's important. So when you see YHWH, that is Yahweh there. That's not Yahweh. That's not Yahweh. It says the Hebrew YHWH is the verb Hawa. You see that? Not Yahweh, not Yahweh. Not way. It don't say no fucking way there. It says Hawa. Not way. Not way. Not W E H. That's is is Yahawa. Hawa there. See that H A W A H. Not way. Way don't mean shit. Yahawa. Hawa. You see that the Hebrew Y H W H is the verb Hawa, meaning to exist. That's what that means. It's not talking about no fucking way there. It says with. The prefix Y 
meaning he. That's what Yah means he. Therefore, the word YHWH means he exists, not Yahweh. Yahweh is not the correct pronunciation of the Lord's name. You people got to fucking understand out there. You guys don't fucking understand. Yahweh. You see that? Y Y H W H. He exists. He is. Yahawa. You see how it is broken down? Break down Yahweh like that. You can't fucking break that shit down like that. It says Yahawa. See that? Yah equals he. Hawa equals exists. That's how you pronounce the name of the Lord. It's Yahawa. It's not no fucking Yahweh. Yahweh is an air translation of the Lord's name. It's an air. Jehovah is an heir. That's not the correct name of the Lord. Yahweh is an heir. It's not the correct name of the Lord. Ahia is an heir. It's not the correct name of the Lord. Yahuwah is not is an heir too. It's not the correct name of the Lord. Pronunciation of the Lord's name. Regardless if you want to argue in this video or not, Yah those names are not the name of the Lord. Yahweh is the true name of the Lord. It says here is. It says here is. Karazawan's comment from the video about the meaning pronunciation of Yahweh. Now, let's make a closer look of the name Yahweh. See, this is from, see, website ancienthebrew.org. It says the address is on the top right corner. So, this is how you pronounce the name of the Lord. It's Yahweh there. It's not no fucking Yahweh. And I was trying to tell that individual that. But he had to let the demon, he had demons on him. Dude was bugged out. He believed in the star of David. There is no star of David. There is no star of David, man. Regardless if you believe in it or not. There is, there is no star of David, man. Regardless if you believe in it or not. There is no star of David. So again, if you believe in the name of Yahweh and Jehovah, you're going off. If you believe in Ahia, you're going off. If you believe in the name of Yehuda, you're going off. Or Yahushua, whatever name out there, you're going off. The correct name of the Lord is, is Yahweh. It's not no fucking Yahweh, man. Alright? It's not no fucking Yahweh. Alright? Yahweh is not the name of the Lord. Let's go back to the video, and then we're going to get some scriptures out. Alright? I'm saying Shalom. He kept on just rambling and rambling and rambling and rambling instead of listening. So, so if it's Yahweh, what is it? What is the Hebrew? What is the Hebrew? Uh, uh, what's the word? Man, we look up on my phone. I'm gonna show you what Yahweh's. No, I, I know. Okay. I know what Yahweh. Hey, 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 hey. He said, "I'm gonna show you what Yahweh is. Y H W H. It's Yahweh. It's not Yahweh." I said, I understand that. I was trying to tell him, what is the Hebrew pronunciation? Give me the Hebrew grammar pronunciation for Yahweh. Like for Yahweh. You see how I was able to get H3068, H3050? What is the Hebrew grammar for that for that word Yahweh there? And he didn't understand. He just kept saying YHWH. YHWH stands for Yahweh. We, I just proved that right there. He went on Google. Google's going to tell you all type of shit. This is why you can't just go by anything you see on Google. You got to fully, our elders even tell us that. When you're going into certain things, you got to really get the understanding of, just because you see the pronunciation YHWH, that doesn't stand for y Yahweh. That doesn't stand for that. YHWH, which I gave it to you, means Yahweh. See that? It says YHWH there. That stands for Yahweh. And I proved that to y'all. You see that? YHWH right here. Y plus HWH is Yahweh at the top. You see that? So you can't just see YHWH. You see right here. You can't just see YHWH there and just assume that's Yahweh. No. It stands for Yahweh. I got the I got the Hebrew grammar right there. H3068. You see that? Yahweh. YHWH. That's Yahweh. Strongholds. That's the strongholds for the Hebrew. The Hebrew grammar. YH Y H I mean H3068 is Yahweh. See that? Right there. So this is the correct pronunciation of the Lord. And it says it right here. Therefore, the word YHWH. It's because you see YHWH, that doesn't mean that it's Yahweh. That's not the, that's not what the name of the Lord is. It's Yahweh. The, it says, therefore, the word YHWH means he exists. That's what it means. Yahweh. Yahweh. That's the true name of the Lord. It's not no fucking Yahweh. 
This is how you correct. This is how you truly pronounce the name of the Lord. Yahweh. See it? Y H W H. Yahweh. You see that? Yahweh. See that? And when you want to pronounce his son's name, it's Yahweh Shai. See that? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. At the bottom is Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the, the only the name of the only begotten son. Yahweh Shai. And then at the top is Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father. It is not Yahweh. You see that? So then we're gonna get some scriptures out. See, he's telling us we're not getting it. You don't get it. Y H W H, that's Yahweh. That's not Yahweh. person out there that's calling the Lord Yahweh, you are speaking Yiddish. You're not speaking Paleo Hebrew. There's no E. There's no E in the Paleo Hebrew. There's no E in it. There's no U. There's no V's. There's no J's. And there's no F's in the Paleo Hebrew. And the Paleo Hebrew, which is ancient Hebrew, is only 22 letters in the Paleo Hebrew alphabet. Where are you? Where are you getting? Where are you getting the E from? That's 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 not Paleo Hebrew. Now, when you go to the Yiddish. It got Germanic and Hebrew, uh, Germanic and Hebrew language mixed together in it. So you, that's where you get all the vowel points and all that other shit in there. So this is why you you gotta. Uh, this is why our elders tell us to know the Hebrew to learn the Hebrew. Because if you just going off of the Yiddish, you are gonna be fucking going off. Because the Yiddish has uh, Germanic and Hebrew together. That's not the that's not the pure language. The Paleo Hebrew it don't it's not mixed with any other language. It's it's Paleo Hebrew, ancient Hebrew, full Hebrew. So you're going to be speaking the correct translations of the name of the Lord in the Paleo Hebrew. In the Yiddish, you're not because you're going to be telling you his name is Elohim and and, and Yahweh. You're going to get all these bugged out uh, names and you're going to have errors on it. You can't have errors on the name of the Lord. This is in the Paleo Hebrew, so you're going to have the correct pronunciation of the of the name of the Lord. Let's get to the scriptures, man. Because the Lord doesn't go by many different names. And if you're not going to get it, then that's on you. You know, if you're not going to have an understanding of the name of the Lord, then that's going to be on you. This is um, Exodus uh, 
15 and 3. It says, The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. See, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So the Lord, he's a man of war in spirit, right? And the Lord is his name, right? When you go into the meaning of that word Lord there, it goes into H3068. Now it says Yehovah there, but we know that that's incorrect. It's in the Paleo. When you go into Paleo Hebrew, it's Yahweh there. Yahweh, H3068. We got to go into, because this is Assyrian Hebrew. This is the Assyrian Hebrew, the Yiddish, right? When you go into the Paleo, H3068, this is where you get Yahweh at. It's Yahweh there. So we know that Yahweh is not the correct name of the Lord. We know that this is wrong. You see, we know that this here is wrong because there's no E in the Paleo Hebrew, H3068, which is Yahweh, which means he exists. See, the existing one, he exists. That's talking about the name of the Lord. Jehovah, that's incorrect because you can't fully go by the blue letter, uh, uh, what you see up here because it's incorrect. There's no E there. It says Yehovah. That's incorrect. Jehovah, that's incorrect. The letter J is only 500 years old. The letter E is only 500 years old. The letter U is only 500 years old. You can look, everything I'm saying, you can look it up, right? The letter V is only 500 years old. The letter J is only 500 years old. So Jehovah, Yehovah, that's incorrect because those letters, is, is the Messiah is over 2,000 years old. So it can't be uh, Yeshua or the name of the Lord is Yahweh. It's incorrect. It's, it's Yahweh there. Without the vowel points, it's Yahweh there. They put vowel points in there. So this is how we know that the name of the Lord is Yahweh there. So anytime you see Lord in caps, that's talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. H3068 is Yahweh. Get another precept out. This is, uh, let me see. I want to see what I want to get. This got that Psalms 94 and uh, 14, I believe. Psalms 94 and uh, verse 14. Psalms 94 and uh, I'm tripping. No, 91. Is it Psalms? Yeah, Salakia below. Salakia brothers. Psalms 91 and 14. And it says, because he have set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. So it's important to know the name of the Lord. It's important to know the name of the Lord there. But if you be missing screwed with all these philosophies and you think you know stuff and you don't. Because you got to go into the, you got to get the Hebrew grammar. You got to get the Hebrew grammar for the name of the Lord. You got to go into the strongholds. That's what I was trying to say. You got to go into the strongholds definitions. You got to go into the strongholds definitions. You got to go into the stronghold Hebrew, the stronghold definitions to get the meaning of the name of the Lord. Otherwise than that, you're not going to know. It's easy to say the Lord's name is this, but what is the Hebrew grammar for that for that name? What is the strong what is the stronghold's definition for that for that name? So if you say in your name of the Lord is Ahia, what is the stronghold's definition for that? If you don't know it, then you can't say that that's the name of the Lord because you have to know the name of the Lord. You have to know the name of the Lord. You have to know the strongholds definitions. And you got to be careful for that. Because certain definitions that they give you when you go on the strongholds definitions could be wrong. Now, the ones that we have is correct. Because it, it, you see how I was able to break it down? You got to do that with those names that y'all Jake's call upon. You got to do that. You have to know the name of the Lord. You can't just go with something that you see on, on Google. No, you got to be able to get the strongholds definition to break it, break, to be able to break the Lord's name down. That's it's simple. You can't just go by what you just, okay, YHWA, it says Yahweh, that's Yahweh. No, Yahweh is not the name of the Lord, bro. It's not. Whether you believe it or not, it's not. And if you believe the name of the Lord is Yahweh, then that's you. But just know you're going to be destroyed because that's a different deity. That's not the same deity as our power. That's a whole totally different de deity. You got to be careful what names you call on. This is Psalms, this is Psalms 113 and 1. It says, praise ye the Lord, O ye servants, of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. So the name of the Lord does matter. And it's Yahweh. And you got to know the name of the Lord. Verse 2. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. See? Verse 3. It says, From the rising of the sun unto the going down of, of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. See? So we have to know the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is Yahweh. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It is not Yahweh. It's not Jehovah. It's not Yahweh. That's not the name of the Lord. You have to know the name of the Lord because the Lord does not go by many different names. 
That's the Acts 4 and 12, right? Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. There's no salvation in any other name out there. Dude try to say, oh, we all work. It's all the same name. No, it's not. When you call upon a name, a different name, that's a different deity that you worship in. This is why we, when we worship our power, we call him by his true name, Yahweh Ba Shai. We don't mix him, we don't mix his name with any other name out there. The moment you do that, you're worshiping a different deity. You're not worshiping the same power. That's the thing with a lot of Jakes. Oh, it don't matter what name it is, it's all the same person. No, it's not. It's a different deity. That's why you want to be careful. Yes, it's a different deity. You, If you call on the Lord's name outside of Yahweh, you call on a different name, that's a different deity that you're worshiping. And you could be destroyed for that. That's idolatry. That's fornication. Acts 4 and 12, it says, Neither is there salvation in any other. There's no salvation in any other name but Yahweh. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. See that? Yahweh. There's no other name out there but Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. This is the only name that you should be calling on. Not no Yahweh's, not no Jehovah's, not no Ahayas, not no Ye uh, Yeshua's, right? No Yahuwah's, none of that. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is the only name you are to be calling on. And if you have a different doctrine, then that's you. You have a different doctrine. And don't watch this video. It says, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men. So there's no other name out there. This is why this is an error. This is an error here. Because there's no other name out there. The Lord only has one name. And you have to know his name. And if you don't know it, that's on you. It's not meant for you to know. Because the Lord didn't want everybody to know his name anyway. He only wanted his people to know his name. And only a certain uh, group of amount of men know his name correctly. But the rest of you Jakes, y'all know his name incorrectly. And that's not going to save y'all, man. A lot of you Jakes are going to be destroyed out here for pride and not listening. Y'all do a lot of talking, but y'all don't y'all don't y'all don't do no listening. This is why our people are so destroyed out here because they don't learn to sit and listen. They quick to to have a pride spirit on them and think they know everything. But y'all not teaching. Y'all not on the highways and byways. Y'all not doing the works. Y'all not doing none of that. Y'all just come by and just think y'all know stuff, but y'all don't know nothing. It says, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among, given among men whereby we must be saved. So you have to know the name of the Lord. Yahweh is not the name of the Lord. You know, and that's that's just that, man. I'm going to get two more precepts. I'm going to wrap it up with that. It's Zechariah 14 and 9. Because this is a future prophecy. It says, and the Lord shall be king over all the earth. See, the Lord is going to be king over all the earth in that time. And it says, in that day, in that day, it says, shall there be one Lord. See, so the Lord doesn't go by many different names. Yahweh is not his name. Jehovah is not his name. You got to know his name. The Lord has one name. You have to know his name. And I was trying to tell the individual, his name was some some crazy ass name. I'm talking about his name was Solomon and all that. I don't know, whatever his name was. And I was trying to tell him as an example. If that's your name, if somebody called you something else, how would you feel? And he tried to still skip that and still try to say it's Yahweh. I mean, it's Yahweh. Because he didn't say it was Yahweh. So like, he said it was Yahweh. And it's not Yahweh. It's Yahweh. That's the name of the Lord. But he tried to say it's Yahweh. You know, being a damn demon. But he ain't going to get it. It's not meant for Jake to get it. It says, and the Lord shall be king over all the earth in that day. Shall there be one Lord in his name one. So the Lord doesn't go by many different names. We were trying to tell him that the name of the Lord was Yahweh. And he wanted to start bugging out behind Yahweh. That's the condition of our people. They're going to be destroyed at the end of the day. You're not affecting nobody else but yourself. You're going to be destroyed. Zechariah 3 and 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. What is the pure language? The La Shawan Kodash. That's the pure language. The La Shawan Kodash. The holy tongue. We're not speaking Yiddish. Yiddish is not the holy tongue. It got Germanic language in it. It got German language and it got Hebrew in it. It's not pure language. The pure language is the Lashawan Kodash, the Paleo Hebrew. I asked him what's Paleo and he didn't even know what Paleo is. So how do you know that the name is Yahweh? Yahweh is not the pure language. Yahweh is, is Yiddish, man. That shit got fucking vowel points in it. It says, for then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. So the Lord doesn't go by many different names, man. The Lord only has one name. And not everybody's going to have the knowing of the name of the Lord. The Lord has only given the, the, his name to his elect. 
That's why so many of the Lord's men, they have the understanding. But a lot of these Jakes don't, the Lord ain't manifest his name to them. Only the, only the elect has it. This is John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto, unto the men which thou givest me out of the world. See? So the Lord only given his name to his elect. That's why the rest of you Israelites out here, y'all confused. I don't know his name. Y'all just agree with what you guys see on Google. Google ain't always correct. Correct. Because Esau, who, who, who owns Google? The Edomites. So they're going to keep you from knowing the true name of the Lord. You got to really, this is why you got to follow men. You have to follow great millstone of Israelites because you're going to have the proper understanding through the spirit and you're going to be able to know the name of the Lord. But the rest of you, Jakes, y'all don't have the understanding. That's why y'all bugged out. Y'all going on all these other names and the Lord doesn't go by many different names. Verse six, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou givest me out of the world. Thine they are down they were and thou gavest me and they have kept thy word. See? They have kept the word. So the Lord, he manifested his name unto the prophets. That's why we have the understanding of the Lord's name. That's why we know the name of the Lord. And the rest of these jakes, they don't know the name of the Lord because the Lord ain't dealing with them. Verse, verse 25, it says, O righteous father, the word have not known me. It says, I've not known thee, but I have known thee. And these have, and these have known that thou hast sent me. Verse 6, and I have declared unto them thy name. And will declare it that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. See, so the Lord, he declared his name unto the men of the Lord. Right. And this is why we have the knowing of the name of the Lord, man. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord revealed his name unto us. But the rest of you, Jason, y'all don't have to understand the name of the Lord. So, again, man, Yahweh is not the name of the Lord. That's an incorrect name. Jehovah is not the name of the Lord. That's an incorrect name. That's all got vowel. That's Yiddish. It got vowel points in it and all that shit. It's off. It's not. It's not the pure language. The Lashawan Kodash is the Paleo Hebrew, which is the pure language. Yiddish is not the pure language. So hey, this dude in the, this dude right here, he does not know the scriptures. He does not know the scriptures. Dude is bugged out. Dude had demons on him, and. You jakes out there that rebel against this truth, you guys going to have a rude awakening because we're not going to be out there forever. Everybody think this thing is a joke. It's a game. You know, they just try to do stuff just to do stuff. You guys are messing it up for yourself. So, Lord willing, that's some Zeta Fine. Until next time I say, Shalom.